Adam Thompson. So this is Wade Dirksen. Uh, thanks for choosing me for being one of the 16 finalists for this round one. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, my other sponsors. So I'm with Amphibia Eye Gear, or uh, sunglasses company out of the States. Uh, I'm also with Smart Baits Fishing Lures. Uh, a lot of jigs, crankbaits, work pretty good. And also with Low Pro Lures, and that's kind of the same thing, soft plastics, crankbaits. And I'm also with Pipe Dreamers, so that one I just recently got, so I haven't got a chance to really test out their product. But it's a lot of spinners and, and stuff like that. I guess we'll see what, it, see what it's really like. Flake goes good. Uh, I live in Worm, Saskatchewan, Canada. Um, yeah, there's a lot of lakes around here. Rivers right here. And I normally fish in the South Saskatchewan River quite a bit. Um, do some fishing at Lake Diefenbaker. Uh, Tobin Lake and Chandler Lake. Um, at, in winter time, I I hit up quite a few lakes. There's lots of small lakes. I have a snowmobile and a sleigh, and it's just a lot easier to get around in winter as I don't have a boat right now. So it's coming though. I hope. <laughs> um, as for species, I usually fish for. Normally, I like to target northern pike. That's kind of my favorite thing, especially on Tobin Lake on the flats. Um, catch a lot of big pike over winter. It's a lot of fun. Uh, as you know, walleye also. It's kind of a everyone fishes for walleye. I don't target it quite as much, but if I do, it's usually on Tobin as well. Ice fishing, same thing. Huge walleye there. Um, I like to purchase fun. It's always a good time. Um, lake trout. And once in a while, rainbow trout, if I can get out with a few buddies on Lake Diefenbaker. I can usually get a few pretty good rainbow trout out of the deal. Uh, what excites me most about representing Len Thompson? Um, <laughs> it's crazy because I grew up, grew up as a little kid fishing all the time uh, my dad took me out all the time and if he couldn't take me out my grandpa took me and my grandpa is huge Len Thompson guy it's everything in his tackle box is just Len Thompson so I basically I grew up with the that was the only hook I really knew five diamonds uh, white with the orange stripe I, that's the one I love the most but he was a big fan of the red and white um, it's you know, it'd be a childhood dream, basically, to be able to say that I represent Len Thompson. And I know over the years I've caught a lot of big fish with Len Thompson. They're great hooks. I've never, ever had problems with them. And they're cheap. Uh, you can't beat it. I just really can't. Um, what do you know about Len Thompson and how often do you use our products? I don't know lots. I do know that it started in Saskatchewan, which is pretty cool because I know how big it is and how you can go anywhere and you're, there's always a Len Thompson spoon for sale somewhere, especially in Saskatchewan. Um, I use your products every time I go fishing. It's I may not use it all the time and steady, but I do if it's... I don't know. It really depends what I'm fishing for, but if it's for pike, you always got to throw that orange and white one out. I, for some reason, that's my lucky lure. It's always been my go-to lure if fishing's real hard and you can't get anything. For some reason, it always managed to get a fish on that, and it's, yeah, it's really cool. Um, am I a part of any fishing groups, conservation organizations, or clubs? So, fishing groups... I'm on, oh, I'd say about 15 different groups on Facebook. Um, I try to post stuff on there as much as I can. Summer's a lot harder to do, which is work usually gets in the way a little bit, but on weekends, uh, I, I do a lot of fishing. And I'll do is, I'll, I'll post stuff on there as much as I can, really. But uh, I'm also on the board for the Saskatchewan Wildlife Federation. 
for this warming area. It's called the Valley Trails Branch. And we do a lot of that with conservation. And we have a little trout pond that we stock in the springtime. And yeah, so basically it's open to our members. And But at the same time, this branch is all about conservation, doing everything we can to help, um, yeah, help anything. <laughs> help animals and help uh, fishing and just preserve the fish for their futures to come. Uh, have you ever used Northern King lures? I have, but it's it never was a huge thing for me. But I see you guys are connected together now, or you guys bought them, or however that works. Sorry, but um, yeah, so I have used them. There is one that stands out in particular. It's like a watermelon color. It's got green and red and silver. It's, I don't know. The Pike and the Lakers just love that. For some reason, they just love that lure. And so I, I do have a few of them in my tackle box. As it's not, as you know, like you get on a roll catching fish and you lose one. And yeah, it's, it sucks. So I always, have, I always keep a couple on hand. And what do you do for a living outside of fishing? Um, I work in the construction trade, so I build houses, shops, any kind of farm buildings, barns. I do that basically all summer, so it's basically a, I'd say about mid-April to mid-December kind of job. So I get about four months off in winter. Uh, they just lay you off and you just do a whole lot of fishing, that's for sure. Um, I ice fish for th almost three months straight, and I'm lucky to have a fiance that does the same thing. So, so we get out a lot together, and um, yeah, that's basically it. So I really hope that I can make it to this round two, and I'm super excited to be doing this for you guys. It's like a dream come true, and good luck to everyone else that does it. Thanks for now. See ya.